Our next guest is here to just, you know, like help us. It's been a tough year, maybe not to everybody, but generally it's not been a normal year. And probably we didn't save up for the holidays as we usually do. So what do we do? It's Christmas, it's the festivities. How can we then celebrate Christmas on an almost zero budget? Environmental advocate Carol Wimboy to take us through that. <laughs> Karibu sana. Thank you so much, Mikael. Good to see you again. Good it's been, what, two years? Yes. Oh, God. It was December, actually, mm -hmm. November, I think, 2018. Yeah, and here we are again, December, and almost the same time. And doing the same thing yeah. because you were all about environment <laughs> <laughs> back yeah. then yeah. and you're still at it. That, yeah. That's really a consistency. Thank you. <laughs> Kindly <laughs> for it. maybe the people who are seeing you for the very first mm -hmm. time, introduce yourself and what it is that you do, especially for the environment before we get into the topic today. Yeah, thank you so much. My name is Caroline Wamboy. Um, I'm an environmental advocate and I work with an organization called Papas. And I love, 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 love the environment and trying to maintain it and doing what I can for, for the next generation and, or even for myself, you know. Yeah. And as such, I've been doing this for over 10 plus years. Yeah, and uh, it's been quite a journey. It's been quite a revolution in terms of how we've been able to make great strides within this space. So I'm happy to be here. Over 10 years? Yeah. The, you know, <laughs> you, you are an expert. We're told <laughs> if you do something for over 10 years, then you become an expert at it. Mm -hmm. But the environment and your concern for it started mm -hmm. Way, way well, back. What, um, what I kind of stumbled into it. Somebody just oh. threw me into that space. Okay. Um, and you loved it. Yeah, and I loved it. And here I am 10 years later, and I still will be doing this for the next 10 if uh, I'm still here. I'm hoping to still be here. Amen. You will yeah. be. You will be. You will be. <laughs> and Christmas is here. And yeah. you're here to tell us that we, we have amazing ways to celebrate mm -hmm. Christmas mm -hmm. um, without using that much money. Yeah. Come on, Kali. As in, it has been a tough year for a lot of Kenyans True. and even the people around the world. And a lot of people have lost jobs, you know, and we're all trying to find little things that will make us happy. Yeah. You know, just even saying Merry Christmas to somebody will kind of, you know, make you smile. So in terms of, of environmental access, uh, we do have green spaces that I think Kenyans can go have a good time and I think even the government has done a really good job just trying to make sure that these spaces are alive and are kept. Um, looking at Michuki Park which just was launched just a oh, couple of months ago. Oh, a couple of months ago. Yeah. Did it have a name before that? Um, I, I don't remember because yeah. it, it was just there. It yeah, was we just all, there. Yeah, we just knew it was a and space. And it was cleaned there. up. The yeah. reason it's named from Michuki is because yes. it cleaned up the Nairobi River yeah. that passes yes. through it. Michuki Park and some other partners were able to do this mm -hmm. um, with some youth-led uh, organizations as well who are cleaning the river even right up until now they're still doing it oh, yeah. um, and we've seen such an, a magnificent space come up even the times even sometimes the CS is almost there every day just because he loves the space and he's been able to do all these things so Michuki Park is free you just free. walk in and go and have wow. the time of your life and, and it's go right see. in the city yeah it's right in the city Apo Kijabe, you know yes. at that corner of Globia roundabout uh, it's just over there you can go and then there's Uhuru Park and I remember I have a friend who was taken for a date at Uhuru Park. I have <laughs> gone on a date. Have <laughs> I have pictures. No, just let pictures are okay. And I was an adult. Oh, nice. I, yeah. Nice. Yeah. And that's so, what we're trying to say. It was beautiful. Mm. Pass by supermarket, bought grabo. Yeah. <laughs> and Went then, and Tandika that And a and lesho, a lesho, lesho, <laughs> shuka. And yeah. yeah. And so, here you yeah. are. I, and you, yeah. you have an experience about that. And it was actually very economical for, for, for your dude, yeah? Yes, it I, was. I yes, it was. Dude, yeah, for sure. <laughs> and he ha you had you guys had a good time. We have the Ololuas, we have the Luna Park space, mm -hmm. we have um Aboretum where people have been actually been going to run. In Karura has even seen an influx in numbers of people who go every Saturday and Sunday to run. Mm -hmm. Um so it tells you that we need these spaces. We okay. need to be there. We need to engage. There with was a conversation, Carol, that yeah. maybe we just need to demystify uh -huh. right now. Uh -huh. There's this story for Uhuru Park near to Ashambe. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's, I think, for me, when I did it and I was an adult, mm -hmm. well, I'd gone as a child, of mm -hmm. course. Mm -hmm. But as an adult, it was so much fun. It's, yeah. You, you, Tap into your childhood mm -hmm. somehow. Right. You ride the the boats, yeah. and they're better now mm -hmm. because there's yeah, no there's no rowing. There's no rowing. You just you cycle, pedal. You pedal. Right? Yeah. So yeah. it's not it's mm -hmm. not for what you are talking about country at your own See shamba, see mm -hmm. low income, see no. near sisi water. Yeah. Like it's an everybody's affair. That's true. Like if you go right now, um, 
um, our organizations, uh, Daima Coalition, uh, NMS, and even the Ministry of uh, Environment have yeah. come together and we've been able to do small little pockets of Uhuru Park. If you go right now, there's Freedom Corner. We've yes. made it look so nice, Wangari Mathai and all <laughs> that. You know? Yes. Because that was her, you know, she, she, she marked that for us and that's why she we were did. able to enjoy it. We have SNI, which is Safer Nairobi Initiative, who've been able to do another section. Oh. Um, and they've planted some trees, did a garden, put up a fence and even people came to participate in the building party because they opened it up to the public and then we have the slides we have the the lake the kids, the kids yeah, the they can run about there are snacks that you can buy there's yeah. a whole community that we oh, don't those understand ice creams i know right they were life <laughs> Ah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. And those are the things we should be going for. Um, we don't need to spend so much going to all these other places. And I'm not saying people don't go. You can yeah. go if you've got the tombs. Yes. But also if you're in Nairobi and you're looking for something to do this Christmas, then go plug into these spaces and go and, you know, get and entertain, go see, take your kids there. They'll remember these memories for the rest of their lives. Because yeah. I still do remember mine when I was a child. Me too. Mm. I still do. I still do. And... Um, Sometimes we are too consumed about us enjoying Christmas and forgetting that we have children mm. who will enjoy this. They are, their, their memories are not uh, as jaribiwa bado. Sisi pengine tulifanya, tunaona a, tulifanya tukiwa watoto za toi kufanya tena. But it can still happen. You mentioned Ololua. What happens there? Ololua is a nice place just right here in Karen. Mm -hmm. And you can go and you can do nature nature walks with your with your family or with your loved one. And you can just enjoy the greenery, the scenery it's refreshing even to your mind you know and this has been kind of a mental year for a lot of people yeah. so you go there you breathe in breathe out you know inhale exhale enjoy the peace the tranquility the refreshing nature of that space and you go home feeling much much better yeah. and all this ziko to hapa ziko to you don't hapa. have to travel there's no booking of buses mm -mm, by the way mm -mm, no no mm -mm. and we also have our uh, the nature walk. We have our nature walk. We have safari walk at yes. KWS. We have yes. the animal orphanage. We have all these spaces that we don't usually go to and don't yeah. consider them like, you know, spaces to visit. And as such, uh, we are asking Kenyans to just, you know, try and, and go there and, and entertain yourself and just see what we are talking about, that we need to protect these spaces. And we can only protect them if we use them. Yeah. Because uh, they don't get in. money to, mm. not, to, so to take, even yeah. the fees are not yeah. that much. I yeah, mean. like if you go to, I think, um, Nairobi Safari Walk, I think you pay up to about 200 bucks, yeah. uh, 50 to 100 shillings. Mm -hmm. And you can go there and spend your day and yeah. have really good time. And so sometimes we think vacations are things that are up in the sky yes. or up in the clouds. <laughs> so these are the spaces we can go to. Peleka mtoiwako, peleka your niece, your nephew, if you don't mm -hmm. have kids, mm -hmm. go have fun. Watch our kule ice cream, let them experience Nairobi. Yeah. The way it's supposed to be, yeah. That's true. But to send us a go peke yake. Ukweli. Nata says it umembo to send eko sabu. Then we have our show shows yeah. and there's corona. Yeah. And uh, we there are the people we are being them. told to <laughs> stay yeah, away from. from. Yeah. You know, so let's not do that. Mm -hmm. Um. Corona has come for sure. Yeah. And I have to say this is the year that K the, the National Park has mm -hmm. been really been that. explored. <laughs> I've seen that too. There was nowhere else to go. I mean, we were locked down in this city mm. and people had to discover. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and people went and saw lions for the very first time. I did. You know? I have done many... Um, safari... Uh -huh. Safari... Drives, yeah. Yeah, dr yeah. drives, mm -hmm. yeah. All over. <laughs> like I've gone. I had never mm -hmm. seen a lion yeah. ever in the see? world mm -hmm. until Corona. Mm -hmm. And I went to the National Park <laughs> right here. Don't worry. <laughs> and I saw like five exactly. that right next to the road. Mm -hmm. And it was an amazing experience for me because that was a first. I'll never forget. Yeah, you'll never forget. I'll never forget. Lions. Apart from the lions we see, you uh -huh. know, orphanage, yeah. Ziko. <laughs> <laughs> this was, they were right in the world, they walking doing nicely, thing. doing their thing mm -hmm. in their natural mm -hmm. habitat. It was beautiful. It was quite, it is quite interesting that people have actually gone and seen things. They've, they've just been talking about, yeah, we come from Africa, yeah. we have lions and all that. Yeah. But now they've never seen it. And you mm -hmm. live right here in Nairobi where they exist, yeah. just at your backyard.
So um, I'm happy that people are, be, are being able to take their families, even just go and see what that is about. That's Do an true. eight hour, five hour drive yeah. and come back feeling good, feeling glad that you actually stepped out and, you know. And it's true. And if you can afford maybe a Kanyama like this, at the National Park, you're allowed to <laughs> yeah. grill. Yeah. And there are spaces yeah, of spaces, all that that yeah. are protected. Akuna Wanyama Wanaingia Hapo, there are guards, yeah, left, right, center. Security. It's beautiful. You can... Just have your own beautiful picnic with your family, with your mm. music as well. Mm. Well, not so loud, mm. but you know, like it's <laughs> it's really a beautiful experience. Yeah. And let's talk about the booking or mm. reserving mm. these spaces. Is something that people should be worried about for anybody who's never like you know gone to these places? Not really. Apart from where you have to pay like an entrance fee, a lot of these places you don't book. Actually, I don't think there's anyone where you actually book unless yeah. you're doing a drive mm -hmm. and that you have to pay an extra amount. Uh, for things like Karura, you just pay the entry fee, 150, yeah. Yeah. and you're in. And you're in, actually. And you're and you, in with you can your, work out, you can cycle. Yeah, you can cycle. You can walk. You can do a picnic. Even walk your dogs. Yeah, you can walk your dogs. People do run and walk with their dogs. You can have a picnic with your family. You can even have a family fun day. Mm -hmm. You bring all your people to this space and you actually make an event out of it for yourselves yeah. and without having to spend a lot of money. So it's, it's viable. It's there. We just need to plug ourselves into these spaces. And I promise you, you will come in January 2021 and you'll remember these things for the rest of your life. Even your kids will. Yeah. Yeah. So let's let's explore Nairobi. Let's explore our green spaces. Let's go enjoy ourselves. And another thing we've been telling Kenyans is to switch green akaka krisi to kwena krisi safi environmentally wise you okay know? okay i and, like that and and we've been telling you what are the little things you can do mukali you can you can do like plastic you don't have to buy things in plastic yes you can go find uh, alternatives for that uh you can stop visiting even restaurants that uh, have not gone green you yeah. know because they are there they are the restaurants that can do that you can actually you know, shower with some cold water in one of these fine days. And then I draw to Napenda Majie tomorrow, me included. Yeah. We have history with cold water. We oh don't God. like it. Uh, but those are some of the things we can do to save. Like, what are your little actions? What's your little thing to be an environmental steward this mm -hmm. Christmas season? Yeah. So, hashtag Chrissy Safi. Yeah. That I love it. But it's my zero budget how. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. You're such a romantic lady. Me, I'm romantic. I'm giving you giveaways, but it's okay. I'll take it. <laughs> I don't know what it is that you meant, but sour. Uh, Rachel Kavuli Kiyokon was a peer zero budget. Mm, and zero. I think I'm just going to reiterate what mm -hmm. Carol is saying. Mm -hmm. We have Uhuru Park. Mm. You don't pay a thing to experience something that is outside your home. Mm -hmm. That is what we mean. That you don't have to travel out of book a bus and go to Jewea and reserve and pay to be allowed into yeah. a premise mm. we have spaces that allow you to come and also with corona these small spaces we're being told not to be in them mm. we need air we need fresh air and you can be as many as you want if mko inje because yeah. i don't imagine your family is like a rally <laughs> <laughs> you know i'm just imagining about maybe 10 max mm -hmm. or 15 even mm. and you're in karura you will have an amazing space where you pay like 150 we said almost zero budget mm. which is which is true yeah almost zero because you cook at home yeah. Bring and then it you, with just, you. you just don't eat it at home. Nikukula too inje. Bila kulipia restaurant wase. That is what we are saying. So, Mwines um, boy, you're doing a great job. I'm also part of the same initiative. Oh. Um, we are also doing and transforming a place to park behind Utali College. And we will call it People's Park. You know, right. not kawaida, like people's eh. like kupak gari, which is, oh. which is really nice. <laughs> That's lovely. That's that's really lovely. That's and lovely. a big up to you. I hope I wish you get mm -hmm. what initiative that is yeah. so that you we two know. can link Connect, up and say yeah. mm. on that end. But keep your comments coming on this and are you seeing a possibility of yourself enjoying or having an amazing Christmas outside your home, even if hauna budget your Christmas? To say mahauna budget your manisha ukweka pat pesa candle. Christmas. So you have no budget for that or almost zero budget for that. And you really are looking for spaces to do that. We have other spaces also like outside Nairobi, Kidogo, yeah. Kidogo, where mm. you don't travel that far. Yeah, we have the Naivashas, the Nakurus, you know, mm. that's two hours. We have the Athi River, the yes. 
um, um, just be after at the river, there's another sport. I'm just trying to remember the name. Um, it's not coming to me now. Mm. Um, but Lukenya, right? Ah, Lukenya, We have yes. all these nice little sports that people have. Even Thika, we have spaces there. Um, oh, yeah? Yeah, we do have spaces there that people can go. Go to... to uh, blue posts. There's blue Chania posts. Falls. There's all those things that people the, can... The, what are they called? The falls. The falls, 14 yeah. Falls. 14 falls. Then you have the Chania Falls up upper, uh, upper side of Thika, going yeah. up all the way to Muranga. Uh, and we have all these spaces that we can plug into. So Mikali ni spaces in your Hatujui maybe. Hatujui yeah. ama tunona tu. Tunona ni za watu wengine. Yeah. Tunasema but I've been to the 14 Falls mm -hmm. when I was a kid mm -hmm. and I loved the experience mm -hmm. and I went back again mm -hmm. when I was <laughs> an adult <laughs> where yeah. I could take myself back there and it still had the same magical, you know, feeling. Yeah. Ukienda um, kusabina So sometimes, like I said, let's not focus on ourselves a lot. Like the people, let's look at the people around us. If you think been there, done that. Mm -hmm. You can give or share the same experience with other people around you. That's so, true. like, Naivasha is a bit far, mm. but That's kuna places uku uh -huh. Karen, Karen, even, eh, kuna Karen. Mm -hmm. even viewpoint itself. Let's to view viewpoint, viewpoint yes. maximum. Yes. There's uh, there are spots there that people have come and put up small businesses. Yes, and people can have coffee. You can buy your curios. You can put your masai shuka down and sit and eat your food. Um, it doesn't have to be something that you have to really dip into your pocket to get the yeah. money for for it. Mm -hmm. Because ni kweka tu tuseme kama ni gari ni kama futa, then you go to viewpoint and you chill there with your friends or you chill there with your family and you see the escarpments yes. and you even start thinking about the history that we went through school about the escarpment formation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you can teach your kids about it. That's true. Right? It's a beautiful experience. Yeah, And you play your music, you dance, take pictures, come back. And home nobody will up. ask you to go yes. back. And now take home before curfew. Now take home before curfew. Yeah. Now take home at somewhere anybody. We take home spend a lot. Yeah. And that's what we are saying. Let's go plug into Uhuru Park, Central Park. Kata watu ajuangi Central Park. Wana itanga Central Park, Uhuru Park at the same time. What's the difference though? Because for the longest time, mata mimi mm -hmm. mm -hmm. ni likuanga tu yao Uhuru Park yote. Because Uhuru <laughs> imianzia uku University uh -huh. inenda adi. Uh -huh. So uh, from Serena going up Uhuru Highway, like you're going to the University of Nairobi, that's Central Park, mm -hmm. right? Okay. And then Uhuru Park is the one now at the roundabout going down to uh, the other roundabout next to Harambi, uh, not Harambi Avenue, Haile Selassie. Right? Haile Selassie, yeah. yes. So that's, the, that's Uhuru Park and it extends all the way to Upper Hill. Yes. So people, people use that road, kuna watu and a job every day, mm -hmm. na pitanga tuwa pa na watu waki. Boat. Yes. The, this time we come, we enjoy come out to Akwapo. And there's a beautiful point at Uhuru Park mm -hmm. where you can see the whole city up yeah. there. So, yeah, we've had wedding. Me have made the things I've done. <laughs> wedding <laughs> pictures. <laughs> 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 photo session. Uhuru Park. One day I'll share the <laughs> pictures. But I think I've shared those pictures on social media. Mm -hmm. But it, it looks so beautiful. Yeah. You wouldn't even think. Like the way we have made and then uh, over the years mm -hmm. kitambo kulikuwa ngana ile kitu ya uhuru park kuna tona jificha uh -huh. you'll be mad that security. ended many many years yeah. ago it's such a safe it's space right now it's such a safe space and thank god for people like friends of karura friends of city yes. park friends of central park or jivanji oh, garden did we talk about city, city park, park upper, upper, upper. Upper. and it's such a huge space Ikona monkeys battle. Ikona monkeys you can go there you can feed them uh, some bananas, or yeah. fig sana. but just go explore. Like friends of City Park have been able to ensure that that space is well protected, security wise, and that's why people go there in in in, in large numbers. So at a is Jivanji Gardens. Yeah. Oh like what on a Ukifika po Jivanji turn right. Like we'd never go into Jivanji. I have though. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe by then you'll let say what. Right? I have sat there. Yeah, and yeah. it looks really. And good. it has beautiful stories it even has. for like artists. Mm -hmm. You hear stories of. We didn't have a gig. We yeah. were just, that is the space. Central Park, I use Central Park mm -hmm. as a um, rehearsal space. Ah, we didn't have money yes. to to pay uh, a rehearsal space for mm -hmm. a play that was coming up. And nobody charged us to That's be true. at uh, Central Park and be as loud as we mm -hmm. can. Mm -hmm. I can get very loud. And that's and, true. And we rehearsed there. <laughs> and we had a good time. After that, everybody went home. The next day, to the Central Park Pier, rehearse rehearsed and go home. So it's a beautiful mm. space. Nobody charges you yeah. and it's safe. Even reading. I've seen people yeah. reading. I've seen people studying for the exams. Yes. Um, so yeah, and you guys who are, who are rehearsing. So yes. that's good. You it see, it's, it's there and it's not things that we recognize much mm. about. Mm. And so, uh, let's show up on these spaces. Let's... Have a good time. 
you said something to Kimaliza, mm -hmm. Chrissy Safi, something, something. Ah, Chrissy Safi um, is a campaign that we are running with an organization called Brand 2D. Okay. It's a, it's a, it's a virtual uh, organization that deals with uh, branding and Mambo's advertising and all of that. Okay. And we came together just to push people as a, as a quick response um, campaign, to push people to do little actions this Christmas. Um, looking at Christmas, it's a Christian affair. We talk about being a great steward. So this time we're looking, how can you become an environmental steward uh, with the actions that you're taking on? Oh, wow. So to kaeka hashtag Chrissy Safi. So hakuna kutupa chupa njia basi ukienda No, nope, don't do it. Hakuna ku... <laughs> Hakuna <laughs> kuchukua vitu unaenda uhuru park and then you leave them you there. Leave them there. You drop them at a, at a yes. bin or take them home with you. Uh, what are some of the little hacks that you have? For me, me ubeba uchafu yangu yote kwa handbag. That's so if me. I'm eating sweets, if I'm receipting, what, 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 then you in go my empty. bag and then I go empty. Um, in your hood, do you have, um, you know, sorting of your waste? Kuna mtawa meke waizo. Na kama mtaenyu waina, you can even start. Yeah. Uh, you can even learn about where does your litter go? Yeah. Just go the extra Just mile. Just go the extra this Christmas. Effort. Just keep it a little bit of a push. Ukiwa hapo kwa zero budget. Umeku show meacha environment ikiwa safi, all right? Carol, social media handles, how people can follow this initiative it's, and even you personally. Yeah, they can follow the, the initiative at Switch Green KE for all the platforms. That's Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And you can check our things over there. We are, we are talking about people. We have even influencers just talking about it. We are sharing uh, videos of little hacks that we do. So Mikali, we're expecting to see yours on that platform as well okay um i'll share with you the details on that and All also right. on our social media we have the poster for that okay um yeah and for me you can follow me at carol Cairo. that's on twitter and i'll be glad to talk to you uh please check out daima green spaces as well okay. and we shall be able to communicate so it's going to be an everybody's affair this christmas hashtag chrissy safi for everyone okay yeah Switch green, what did you say? Switch green Kenya. Okay. Switch, switch green TV K to be switch green. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was trying to do something right there in Ekwama, <laughs> but hey, you get the drift, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you so much for coming, Kara. It's been Thank lovely you. Thank you so much. to know that we can still have an amazing Chrissy up at Nairobi. Nabila Kulipa, Queen mm. Gazi Spaces, all right? Ni chakula tu upike alafu ikulie tu inje. Unakatikilena sema? Mm. We'll be right back after this break with an amazing 12-year-old who is multi-talented. Don't go too far. <laughs>